Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your monthly tarot reading for October 2019 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Cancer. So as usual we have four general energies of the month. We have the Two of Cups, I've clarified this actually because I wasn't sure why it was with the Four of Swords so I've, I've got an extra card. We've got the Four of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Wands. The overarching energy of the month is the Ace of Swords, beautiful. Top three cards that popped out are for Love and Romance. We've also got, I think about five cards just flew out on the money and career front, so I'll read them. As you know, I'm not purist. Um, I, I will read the cards if they do fly out in the shuffle. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups and more besides. We also have an energy card and also an angel answer card as well. So, Ace of Swords, Cancer. You see all the mountains down below in that card. There is an element that now, this month, is a chance to put a certain phase of your life that's been challenging behind you. This is a really hard-earned new beginning because you've had to climb all those mountains, all those obstacles, all those challenges to get to this point. This is the hand of God the Divine giving you this sword. This is, the sword represents your own power. It represents a victory, their success. It is also time to even cut ties with part of your life of the past, challenges from the past. And um, the crown at the top of that sword is you, you getting your sense of self back, you getting your power back, you getting your crown back. So, beautiful message, Cancer. This can talk now about um, powerful communication that might come in this, this month. You, uh, conversations or communications to be had either in love or in career. You know, I can see opportunities for both. Um, that can be linked to the Ace of Swords. And bringing in new beginnings. This can also be making a decision in your life now to bring about a new beginning, choices. Um, but either way, you're coming back to your sense of self. You're making a, a decisions even from a sense of power and um, claiming your power back. This is a victory. After a hard time, challenging time, it wouldn't have been easy. But my goodness, this is beautiful energies. This is about truth the sort of truth, sort of clarity. It might well be truth sets you free. Uh, truths come to light and that allows you to move on in a situation as well. It can also be about realisation, suddenly realising um, this is where you need to go. This is the path before you, getting clarity on where you need to go now. Now I'm going to start here, Cancer, because the Two of Cups, or, sorry, the two of cups came out with the Moon energy. So the Two of Cups can talk about a relationship, um, an offer of a relationship or a current relationship. And it says there could have been some deception or things not being what you thought they were. The Moon sometimes talks about things going on beneath the surface of a situation. And you need to read between the lines, trust your instincts that something doesn't feel right um, to really find answers. Now... The Two of Cups can also be an offer or an invitation in some way, a loving offer or an invitation. Uh, and again, there is an element now of trusting your intuition to make choices, to make that decision, to see things clearly, to get perspective on a situation in order to make that decision, in order to move forward. Um, it can also be that you're just being guided. The moon energy can be about hidden blessings. Um, and it might well be that, you know, you're being given hidden blessings to find um, new opportunity, whether it's in love or whether it's on the a career front. Uh, as I said, this can be enough or an invitation as well in some respects. So some of you could have been guided forward. But the moon can talk about um, an emotional energy, things that could have been emotional as well. So some of you could have been through a trying time. I'm just looking at the Ace of Swords. With this energy, I kind of think some of you might have been challenged in a situation um, and now you're making choices. Now you're getting back into con in control because you've got perspective. You see, that there's no, 
there's no mistake why there's three swords here and there's a fourth sword here. This is a knight who has been in battle and he is recovering. He's taking a momentary pause to regroup, to assess his next battle plan, to see the bigger picture, to get perspective on a situation. And the Three of Swords, as we know, that can be the heartbreak card, that can be about deep hurts, deep wounds. But this is where you're finding a way forward. This is where you're getting perspective on a situation from the past. So some of you, you know, you could have been challenged in a situation and now you're, you're getting perspective. You're seeing things clearly in order to move on. You're recovering. Yeah, you're recovering. Sometimes this can be um, about healing from a situation or some of you might have had ill health. And now is the time to move forward. Maybe there's an opportunity to move forward. But there's definitely a new beginning. Because you're coming back to your sense of self. So there's a promise of healing. Of, yeah, getting better. The Ten of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Ten of Wands is... It can represent somebody who is carrying the world on their shoulders, burdens, but it's a 10, it's a completion. There's, there's an ending here. So there's an element, now is the time to let go, now is the time to release burdens, things that have been slowing you down in moving forward to that new beginning because this is an ending, this is a new beginning. Now is the time to release in order to move forward. And that can be burdens, you know, whether it's in love, whether it's in overwork in the career place, um, to do with wider family or wider friendships. Now is the time to lay those burdens down in order to move forward because there's an element here that if you keep carrying burdens around with you, you make slow progress. And the Knight of Pentacles can be about feeling like you're a bit stagnated. It, it is a release from stagnation, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, it's slow moving energy, but there is opportunity now to move forward from stagnation, from feeling like something's never gonna end. Because there's an opportunity being offered to you. Now this could be in money, this could be in career, this could be an opportunity where you need to value yourself more, uh, put yourself first maybe, is what I'm feeling. Uh, this can also be just now getting solid ground, getting to solid ground in your life, getting back on track. And I think some of you are getting back on track, certainly between these two energies here, even the three energies here. You're getting clarity, you're, you're getting perspective, you're healing, recovering, you're getting back on track. So there is something about releasing in order to get that new beginning because we've got the Ten of Wands here again. We've got the Death card and we've also got the Emperor. So like I said, Ten of Wands, carrying burdens that you can release now, and that is what Death is saying. Death comes to say now is the time to burn away things that cling to you, slow down your progress, stop you from moving forward, stop you from shining in your own true light. And death is kind of like very purgitation. It's, it's cathartic in a sense. That's represented by the white rose here. There's a purification process here where death burns away the old in order to re reveal your true self. Um, old experiences that you don't need to carry around with you anymore. Old mindsets, old beliefs, um, restrictions, all of that kind of thing. Death burns that away in order to release you. So there is very much an element of letting go in order to let you shine. And there is an opportunity to shine now. The, the emperor is a sign of power, a recognition of your own power. Now is the time to maybe make the decisions on what you want in life because the emperor is the great initiator, the great person who takes action in their life to bring about change. They hold the staff of life in their hand, symbolizing that they shape their life. Life doesn't shape them. And where life might have got the better of you for a certain amount of time, cancer, this is now coming back to yourself again you're getting your sense of power back and um, 
in taking the initiative to bring about positive change. Now, the other thing that I will say is now is the time, it might well be that you need to let go of an Aries or a Scorpio. But um, I'm not advocating that. I'm just saying that sometimes there is an element that you might be burdened by that. But generally the energies are, it's an empowering energy, the Emperor card. Now is the time to know your true worth, know your power, to bring about new beginnings and positive moves forward. Yeah, because the path is clear. You're getting clarity, you're getting perspective on situations. Let's start here because we have, we've got the Ace of Swords again in the Money and Career front. We've got the Eight of Swords and we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords can be there's a number of meanings to this card. Sometimes it means like your mind is playing tricks on you, keeping you stuck in a situation, um, overcoming the negativity from within in order to move forward in your external world. And I think you're getting perspective on that with that, the Ace of Swords. This can also be um, when you're trying to do, many, do too many things at once, uh, there's an element that you won't get anywhere. It is about focus. It is about evaluating now where you need to spend your time and effort to get the most reward. So very much a key message. Because there's an opportunity, there's a new beginning here for some of you. Could be an offer because we've got the page of wands here. So there's opportunity to get your own power back, maybe to make clear choices. There could be communication on an offer and opportunity. And my goodness, is it wonderful because it restores your sense of power, your sense of self. So, and your sense of success. I mean, there's a, this is a card of success, hard fought success. And we have the 10 of cups and we have the page of wands. Again, there's, there could be an opportunity offered to you. The page of wands holds the ace of wands. So this is about standing up, standing on your own two feet, Grabbing hold of an opportunity with both hands. Yeah, because there's expansion and growth here. Do you see the leaves here sprouting cancer? And my goodness, this can bring all your hopes. Just happiness, um, uplifting energy. Beautiful energies here. The Ten of Cups is about success. It is about happiness. It's about joy. It's about protecting your home, your family. It is Mars in Pisces. So there's an element that, you know, to really get where you want in life, it is about knowing your own power. Again, the, we've got the Emperor here, but we've got Mars in Pisces. The Emperor is ruled by Mars. It is about natural power. Know your natural power to, you know, when you're productive, relationships take hard work. Um, Career and career success takes hard work. But when you really focus and are productive, that's when the payoff comes. And there's an element here, certainly with that evaluation, to focus on things that aren't working now um, in order to really make headway in a situation. There could be an opportunity that could really turn your life around in some way, shape or form. Yeah, and it is about channeling your power now. Let go of what you need to let go of. Release burdens that are just slowing you down in order to move forward because there's real promise here. Could be communication and an offer an opportunity as well between these two cards. Oh my goodness, you know, we've got the 11 card. Again, instant manifestation. We've got the cornucopia, which is wish fulfillment. Let me just read that out to you. Wish is fulfilled. When you receive the cornucopia, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted, your energy, in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant way. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you. And spirit is applauding all of your effort. Isn't that beautiful? And the message, the angel answer card is yes. Whatever you've been asking the universe for, God, the divine, there is a message from the angels of yes, now is the time. So beautiful energies. 
I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I'll see you next time. Thank you.